Hello, everybody. Welcome to ECE 3613. This is the Processor Systems Lab at Temple University. Today, I'm going to show you how you can connect your class board to Microchip Studio and how you can run assembly programs on that board using Microchip Studio. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull up Microchip Studio. I already have it loaded. So the next thing we're going to do is create a new project. We're going to be creating a very basic uh, assembly program. So you want to make sure you have assembler selected and then you want to name it something. So we will name this program one. The next thing we're going to do is select the device. In this case, because we are trying to upload directly to our class board, we're going to look for the ATmega 324 PB. This is the standard chip that is on our Atmel Studio board. You can see there are other chips that are similar. We're not going to use these right now, although you might have to select ATmega 324PA or ATmega 324P when you're trying to use Microchip Studio in debugging mode and only with a simulator. So we'll select PB and hit OK. Microchip Studio will generate a very blank program for us. The next thing we're going to do is configure our IDE. So we're going to go up to Options, which is under Tools. And we're going to add line breaks. So we want to go, not line breaks, line numbers. So we want to go to Text Editor, All Languages. And we want to click on Line Numbers. Hit OK. That gives us line numbers. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the code we created as an assembly test code, and we're just going to paste it right into our new assembly program. While you might not understand what all of this means, basically what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the LEDs on the board, uh, turn them on and off with a frequency of one second, and we should see the output physically turn on and turn off the LEDs when we get our board set up. So through the power of video editing, we're going to go over to my split screen where we can see how to physically connect the board. So what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to take a micro USB cable, and you're going to want to take your Atmel board and plug that micro USB cable directly into the programming jack. This will give the board power and it will connect it to your computer. Once it's connected, once we have the board plugged in, we can go over to this tool. What this toolbar says or lets you do is select your output. So in this case, we're going to select the EDBG Atmel board. This board is going to be corresponding to the serial number on the back of your Atmel board. So we want to click on it. We want to go back to our main assembly program. And we want to hit Start Debugging. After hitting Start Debugging, you're going to notice that the LEDs on the bottom of your board are going to start blinking on and off. You can see on this image, the seven segment display is also lighting up. This is because of the way these port switches are set. How it's supposed to be, port one is set to closed, port two is set to closed, port three is set to open, and port four is set to open. So make sure you take a little tool, in this case I have tweezers, and you can enable or disable this switch. If I change port one on this switch, it's going to turn off the LEDs. If I hit port two on this switch and make it open, it's going to turn off the seven segment display. This will be used in various labs, so make sure you know how to do this. We will leave it set to both right now because we wanna see the LEDs flashing. 
If you see a segment of your OLED display that's out, not working, please email the lab TAs. Uh, let us know that your board isn't correctly working. We may be able to replace it for you. This is the basics of how to get started with Atmel Studio, Microchip Studio, and how you can upload a program to the board.